Father Christmas on the Naughty Step by Mark Sperring and Tom McLaughlin. Today was Christmas Eve and Sam could have been doing any number of lovely things. He could have been making something yummy with his big sister Nellie or helping Rover with a last minute letter to Santa or just daydreaming with Dad about all the wonderful Christmassy things to come. But Sam wasn't doing any of those lovely things. Sam was sitting all by himself on the naughty step until the naughty step gave a familiar creak and shiver me timbers down sat someone who'd sat there a zillion times before. Have you been naughty again? sighed Sam. Captain Buckleboots gave a woeful nod. Oh Sam, he said, I told the most terrible lie. Then he held up a letter for Sam to see. Dear Santa, even though it might sound odd, my shipmates definitely do not want any Christmas presents this year, so can I please have theirs? Many thanks, Captain Buckleboots. Oh dear, said Sam, I can't imagine anything naughtier. But just then, high above their heads came the jingle jangle of bells and a flurry of snow. And shiver me tinsels, down sat Father Christmas. Santa, gasped Sam, it's Christmas Eve. Shouldn't you be getting ready to deliver lots of lovely presents? Father Christmas gave a shameful sigh and shuffled nervously on the naughty step. Yes, he said, but I've been bad when I should have been good. Then they saw it, dear oh dear. Santa's name right at the top of the naughty list. It all began this morning, explained Santa. I took something that clearly did not belong to me. And even though I knew I shouldn't, well, I did. Stop, cried the elves as I hurtled out of the workshop. Stop, neighed the reindeer as I sped down the hill. But blistering baubles, I couldn't stop. Crash, bang, wallop. And suddenly, everything was everywhere. And to make matters worse, I started to laugh. But oh, 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 not everyone found it quite so funny. Now, sighed Santa, all I really want for Christmas is to be forgiven, but I don't know how. For a moment, a sorrowful hush fell over the naughty step. Then Sam had a wonderful idea. If you really want to be forgiven, said Sam, you'll have to show you're really sorry. First, you'll need to pick up all the presents for the reindeer. Then you'll have to help the elves reload the sleigh. And last but not least, you must promise never to do it again. Shivering snowflakes, said Father Christmas. That's exactly what I'll do. Just then, Sam's mum called out from the window. You can get off the naughty step now. And off they all went to say a heartfelt and very seasonal sorry. Sorry, me hearties, said Captain Buckleboots. Sorry, said Sam, oh so sweetly. And the next morning, not only did Sam find lots of presents under the tree, but also a most surprising apology. True, Sam, I'm sorry I took your new train before you'd even had a chance to play with it. Next time, I promise to ask first. Have a Merry Christmas and be good, Santa. So despite Christmas getting off to a bit of a bad start, in the end, a very happy Christmas was had by all.